The most extreme version of the Radford Type 62-2 has just been unveiled and it sports one of Lotus and Formula One's most iconic liveries. Unfortunately, the John Player Special Edition will be limited to just 12 examples. The John Player Special Type 62-2 is the most extreme Type 62-2 that money can buy, said former F1 champion Jensen Button, co-owner of Radford. It is low, sleek, and powerful and sports one of the most iconic racing liveries ever created, one of the liveries that the heroes of Formula One such as Emerson Fittipaldi and Ayrton Senna used to race with, in the cars that made me want to be a driver. Similar to the Gold Leaf Edition, the JPS Type 62-2 is an ultra-exclusive coach-built reimagination of the classic Lotus Type 62. Based on a new Lotus-sourced aluminum chassis, the JPS Edition is powered by a 600-horsepower 3.5-liter supercharged V6 engine, the most powerful offered by Radford. To cope with the extra horses, the JPS Type 62-2 gets AP monoblock brake calipers with 360mm fully carbon ceramic rotors. These are surrounded by Dimag carbon composite wheels that measure 18 inches at the front and 19 inches at the rear. Chosen for their lightness, they help reduce unsprung mass, which, along with the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, improves handling. The body work too, is more extreme on the JPS model than other versions. The splitter is more pronounced than in the Type 62-2 Classic or Gold Leaf. Larger intakes and a diffuser that extends farther back also give the new model a more extreme appearance. The JPS Type 62-2 is even more dynamically focused and extremely capable on both road and track, it's very light very fast and nimble, a proper assault on the senses that will hold its own among even the most accomplished track cars," said Button. Naturally, it is also embellished with all of the high-end touches of a bespoke coach builder such as Radford. The John Player Special Type 62-2 will make its public debut next week at the Goodwood Revival. Production is expected to start before the end of 2021 and the first deliveries are expected in 2022. Radford says it is now accepting applications for build slots.